A former football star who made once made headlines for a viral act of kindness. Now the spotlight for something sinister. Good evening. I'm Juwan Strader. And I'm Jackie Nesbrough. That ex-Florida State University player now facing multiple charges, including murder. All new at 11 o'clock, we're speaking to a former teammate who knew him. NBC6 reporter Kim Wynn is live in Lake Park with that interview tonight. Kim. Yeah, well, that former teammate says that these charges don't sound anything like the person he knows. Tonight, Travis Rudolph faces a long list of charges, including first degree murder. This is the mugshot of former FSU football star Travis Rudolph, now behind bars, charged with shooting and killing one man and injuring another. Charges former teammate Andrew Hours says are hard to believe. From what I knew, he was a phenomenal person. Hours played football and basketball with Rudolph at Cardinal Newman High School in West Palm Beach. Obviously, these are these are serious allegations, um, but you know everyone is is innocent until proven guilty. Investigators say the shooting happened just after midnight outside Rudolph's home on Teague. Drive in Lake Park, Florida. The 25 year old is charged with first degree murder and attempted first degree murder with a firearm. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office releasing few details, tweeting that one victim was found dead in West Palm Beach, another was taken to the hospital. Officials say Rudolph also shot at two others, but they weren't hurt. NBC6 spoke with neighbors who said they woke up to a hail of bullets. Some say they heard around 10 shots. Rudolph's mugshot is a stark contrast from this image of him that went viral in. 2016. The former football player was praised for eating lunch with a student with autism at a school in Tallahassee. He made headlines again the following year after his father was accidentally shot and killed at a nightclub. And tonight, Rudolph is being held with no bond. With no bond in Palm Beach County, Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.